Hey friends and welcome back to my art studio. So today we're going to do something that we've been doing for a while now. There is a playlist if you want to see the rest of them. I'm currently painting a Disney card deck and every video we paint four cards for each movie. So each movie gets four cards and I let you guys decide what movie we do every week. So make sure you comment down below and let me know what movie we should do next. Now the movie that won last time was Mulan. So today we're going to be painting Mulan. But just really quick, like we always do, I'm going to recap on all the ones we've already done so that you don't comment something we've already done. We've already done Frozen, Moana, Stitch, Rapunzel, The Incredibles, Aladdin, and today we're doing Mulan. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we do is take washi tape and go around the card and just kind of block off the edge so that it's still white and we have a nice, like, clean line with the paint. So with the Mulan cards, I decided to do this royal, darkish, navyish blue. It's not really navy, it's a little bit brighter than navy. So maybe like royal blue, I'm not quite sure. But this blue. And then the first one we do is Mulan. And I couldn't decide which one to do, but I ended up falling for the fighting pose. I love this fighting pose. I just really wanted to go more in the badass um, area. Then I did like the other picture. She was holding her medal and she was a winner, but there was just something about this that I really loved. So I went with this first. Um, I haven't watched Mulan in such a long time and every single time we do one of these videos y'all always suggest something and I normally try to watch the movie before I do this so that I can maybe give you my opinions about it but this time around I didn't and I need to rewatch Mulan so that um, I can have a clearer vision because it's been so long um, you know I watched it probably a lot as a kid I've definitely seen it I know the storyline but sometimes you just have to rewatch the movie to really get a clearer perspective and as an adult you always have to different opinion so yeah I know her face looks really crazy right now I decided to just what go ahead and put like a white background for her eyes and her mouth and I go back in later with the details y'all know how it is around here the more layers you put the better things will look you just have to keep working with it so <laughs> don't worry when it starts looking crazy just keep working I also realized like the older cartoons with Disney have really blocked off colors. So like her like the style of this cartoon is very blocked colors. They're not really like ombre like with Elsa and like Frozen, I mean. Um those colors aren't as blocked off. There's like a lot of colors within a block, but like with Mulan, you can tell it's just like her shirt is blue, her hair is black. It's not like a lot of different like shades and stuff. I don't know, it's just something that I realized whenever I was painting it. Um, and I realized that with a lot of the like older Disney um, cartoons are like that. I ended up really hating the way that her eyes looked, so I painted over them and redid them with a smaller brush. I feel like I just did it too thick, like the outline of her eyes and stuff were just too thick and it just looked really wonky to me. So I redid them and I prefer the way that they looked the second time, so I'm glad that I redid them. And satisfying tape pool or at least trying to make it satisfying <laughs> and this is how she turned out I think that it looks pretty good um, next is the love interest um, what is his name it is on the tip of my tongue and I cannot remember but I just looked him up and there was only one photo of him making a decent face the rest of him he looked really mad and angry and mean so i decided to go with this picture because he just looked the most like decent and not like angry or mean also his name is lee shang right i just looked it up i'm right it's lee shang i got really confused i was like his name's on the top like the tip of my tongue and i couldn't figure it out but yeah that's his name sorry um again if you can even realize the blocked off colors of his, like it's very blocked. Um, I just, I don't know, I notice stuff like that whenever I'm doing these. And I don't know, it's just fun to look at the different generations of Disney and how they do shapes and colors and like the way that they like, it, ev the evolution of it like changes. I just enjoy looking at stuff like that, but um, I just find these a little bit easier to draw because they're so blocked off and the shapes are so like defined versus like the newer ones that are way more animated and 3D. It's a little bit harder to like, I don't know, it's just a little bit harder, but I do enjoy trying all of it. <laughs> 
his face does look a little wonky i'm not gonna lie but i don't think it looks as bad like we've had worst dupes in the past um especially with the male protagonist so i feel like his didn't turn out that bad it's just a little off and this is how he turned out so next is mushu which I was really excited about. I did him in my create this book and I felt like he turned out pretty good so I thought that I could make him turn out pretty good on this card as well. He's only like three-ish colors so um, the color palette's pretty easy. Um, his shapes are definitely not as blocky as Mulan and Li Shang, but um, he's still not that hard. And, and I do transfer these images, of course, um, if you didn't know that. If you want to know how to transfer images, you can check out my um, Snow White video. I go more in depth about how to do it and how it works. Um, I'm not going to explain that in every single one of my videos because it'll just get repetitive, but I do transfer these images. Um, I don't just hand draw all of them. Um, I always like to give that disclaimer because I don't want pe I don't want people to feel like I'm like cheating them or like lying because I'm not. <laughs> um, anyways, Mushu is one of my favorite sidekicks. I think that he's so funny. Like he makes me laugh. Um, and I know I said I haven't seen this movie in a while, but I remember him being hilarious, and that's why I should rewatch it because I remember Eddie Murphy. He always he always plays characters that make me laugh. So um, I know that I love Mushu. I mean, he's a little dragon. How can you not love him? Like, he's just a little dragon. I would love to have, like, a little dragon just follow me around and, like, try to keep me out of danger and also make me laugh. Like, hello? That's like a win-win. And this is how he turned out. I'm pretty happy with it. Next, I decided, I forgot to press play on the camera, so or press record, not play on the camera at first, so like I started their skin and then realized the camera wasn't recording. Thank God I realized it and I didn't like paint this whole card without pressing record. But I decided to do the three men, like the three fighters, and I honestly don't know their names. <laughs> I tried to look it up and there's just so many characters. Um, and I don't know who's who, so I'm sorry, but here's a picture of them on the left for reference. <laughs> um, I didn't know what to do for the fourth one. I, d I don't normally paint the villains. I don't know if y'all have realized that. Like, I try to not paint the villains. <laughs> I'm not, I love Disney, but I'm not one of the people that are, like, obsessed with the villains. I don't hate them. I want to put that out there, but I'm just not, like, obsessed with them. I like all the fun sad characters and the funny characters, so I normally try to just paint those. And they're a big part of the story, and I love them. They meet the girls, and, like, all of that. It's just so funny. And, see, the more that I think about the movie, the more I remember. But, yeah, I decided to try to fit all three of these on one card, and I'm really happy that I did that because I think it turned out good. See, sometimes when I don't know how to fit, like, or what to put, I'll put more than one character on a card, and I always enjoy those, car those cards a lot. So, super happy that I fit these three guys on there. I really enjoy how it turned out. And this is how they turned out. And then I do a generous amount of Mod Podge on each card to make sure that it doesn't chip or peel and then I can play the cards without them messing up. And this is how all four of them turned out. I decided to do the fours, the four of hearts, four of spades, four of diamonds, four of clubs. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. This is how it all turned out. I'm like really happy with these. Um, I'm glad that I decided to put these three on one card. Like, <laughs> I just think it looks so funny and cute. But yeah, I'm really happy with how these Milan cards turned out. I'm excited to add them to the stack of cards that I have. This stack of cards is getting like pretty thick, you know? So anyways, make sure you comment down below and let me know which movie you think I should do next. I really want to do... Um, Monsters Inc. and Beauty and the Beast. So I'm just putting that out there, but I'll let you guys choose whatever gets the most comments down below is what I'll paint next time. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a video I post every single week, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!
for you.